Good day and thank you for joining me. What we're going to do today is a quick tutorial on a pose that we see all the time and sometimes have bad alignment on, sometimes have difficulty holding, which is a plank. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in tabletop position. So we're going to pretty much move into a modified plank. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on uh, proper hand placement, uh, correct alignment. So in our tabletop position, we're just going to move the weight forward, making sure that the fingertips are spread wide, fingertips are engaged into the mat. So one rule of thumb is if you don't see the whites in the fingertips, that means you're not pressing hard enough, which means your hands aren't engaged. And just moving up, make sure that the wrists are directly underneath the elbows, the elbows are directly underneath the shoulders to help um, build endurance in the shoulders and make sure that your shoulders don't give out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna externally rotate the shoulders so that the pits of the elbows are pointing forward. Now, as far as uh, alignment, this is a good way to work up into inversions. So what we want to do is try to create a triangle shape with our hands and our head. So hands are directly across from each other and the head is slightly out in front. So going into the spine, we want to make sure that we have a nice straight spine, uh, release any tension in the neck. Uh, if you can't see yourself in a mirror or anything, one good way to try to keep that alignment is to squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, make sure that the core is engaged. So this is a pose where everything should be engaged, everything's working together. If you're in this pose right now with me, then you should feel a little bit of the burn, which is good. This is a great way to build strength, build endurance in the upper body. And what we'll do is we'll tuck the toes under and send the knees up so that we're in our full plank. Making sure that everything's engaged, feet are pressing to the ground, quads are engaged, glutes are engaged, core, Shoulders roll back away from the ears. Elbow pits are still pointing forward. Everything's aligned together. And then we can work into different poses. We'll get into that next time, but starting to work on our chaturanga. And then we can use this pose to build core strength, build tricep strength. If you want to play around from here, you can do push-ups out of it. But this is a, just a great way to build strength in all areas of the body. And then once you feel comfortable, you can start to work into different things. Or you can just play around and jump into a handstand. So thank you so much for joining me today. We'll get a little deeper into this as time goes by. But keep working on those planks. And then eventually, handstands are in reach. <laughs>